Good afternoon, everyone, from a sunny Aero Center in Wilmington, North Carolina. I've had the channel up for about a year now. I want to thank everybody for all the subscriptions and all the watch time and all the comments. I'm really trying hard to make this an educational channel as opposed to entertainment. And uh, I'm going to take this time to introduce you to my personal airplane. This is a 1981 Piper Turbo Aero 4. I've owned it for a little over 20 years. And uh, both my brother and I fly it. My brother owns a Cardinal. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about this airplane once we get in the air. And we'll talk about how I got into owning an aircraft and how I got to be where I am right now. Come along for the ride. The right seat's open. Enjoy the flight. 7,000 feet up to Chesapeake, Virginia. One hour and 15 minutes in the air. Clear prop. Five Alpha Alpha is cleared to Chesapeake as filed. Maintain 2,000, 7,010, 1825, and 5354. Five Alpha Alpha, we back, correct? Now that we've warmed up, Wilmington likes all light aircraft to do their run-ups at uh, before they start taxiing, and uh, we're just going to move the plane, so I'm not blasting anybody here. Papa VFR five followed to Chesapeake, Charlie Papa Kilo at seventeen thousand five hundred. There four four one Papa Papa Wilmington ground. What is your uh, type aircraft? Cessna four four one a Conquest two. Seven Mike Alpha, correction to the taxi, straight ahead on Bravo, cross runway 35 right, at Bravo, do a and run up. Alpha to parking. Run up, parking brake. Bravo, cross 35 at Bravo. It's working, hold the brakes, flight control is left up, right's down, right, right, right up, one, pop, 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 left down, runway, flight controls uh, are free and correct. Charlie, Bravo, Fuel selector, we'll leave on the left Charlie. tank. Electric trim is off. Okay, 2-4, Charlie, it. Bravo, we're going to cross 35 at Charlie, for pop up. We are neutral control of the trim, mixture is one Rocky Bravo in. has Yankee app water, uh, already rolling a little bit, ready to taxi. 21, Whiskey Bravo, you see the Conquest moving on the ramp? Uh, twin Cessna. Not the guy coming for me, for me, no. Oh yeah, I got him. 21, Whiskey Bravo, follow the twins to runway 24, cross runway 35 at Charlie. Your override we're not using. Flaps when he is one notch flaps, the plane comes off the ground better. Doors lock, windows I will get. Recognition lights coming on. We're lean, lean down a little bit, landing light traffic, and transponder will come on automatically. All right, here we go. Wilmington ground, arrow 145 Alpha Alpha at Aero Center with Yankee for taxi. Arrow 5 Alpha Alpha, runway 24, taxi via Alpha, Charlie, Bravo, cross runway 35 at Charlie. Runway 24, Alpha, Charlie, Bravo, cross 35 at Charlie, 5 Alpha, Alpha. Again, welcome everybody. It's been a year since the channel's up. I think we're, we just crossed 5,000 subscribers. I truly do appreciate that. I'm trying to make this more of a educational channel than an entertainment channel. And uh, I really appreciate you guys following me on Instagram. Uh, and lots of great comments from every, everybody on there. Please keep them coming. If you're liking the videos, give me a like and a subscribe. The subscriptions really help me out on YouTube. So uh, if you're liking the videos, do that. And one seven, or clear left and clear right. All clear right's coming on. 939 Juliet Bravo uh, with Yankee IFR E Delta Echo. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shine down to 3 or Juliet, Bravo, clue to the Edenton Airport is filed. Maintain 2,000, expect flight level, oh, I'm sorry, 17,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.25, squawk 4633. Good afternoon, w Wilmington Tower, Air 145, Alpha Alpha, ready for departure 24. Air 145, Alpha Alpha, Wilmington Tower, hold short of runway 24. Hold short, runway 24, 5 Alpha Alpha. Number two, Charlie Foxtrot, base turn approved, traffic departing prior to your arrival, runway 24, cleared touch and go. The wind's 260 at 14, gust 1 9 -er. Clear touch and go, runway 24, 142, Charlie Foxtrot. 145 Alpha Alpha, traffic two mile left base, Skyhawk, turn right, heading 260, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Right turn, heading 260, runway 24, clear for takeoff, 5 Alpha Alpha. All right, lights are on, make sure it's prop throttle. Uh -huh. so There's that 794, contact left, departure. Clear right. Departure, good day, 794. Pressures and temps are centered. Airspeed's alive. Nice gusty wind there. Positive rate landing here is coming up. Gear is up, master light is out. Good order flaps here. This plane, 97 knots, is our best rate of climb. Number 5 Alpha Alpha, contact departure, have a good one. Over departure, have a good day, 5 Alpha Alpha. 33 inches, switch over here. Good afternoon, departure, error 145, Alpha Alpha, 1300, climbing 2000, heading 260. November 239, Alpha Alpha, contact Fayetteville approach 133.0. 330, Niner Alpha Alpha. Number 145, Alpha Alpha, Wilmington departure, radar contact, I maintain 7000, turn right, heading 350. Up to 7,000, right turn, 3505 Alpha Alpha. I've gotten a lot of questions from people, because uh, I, I put a few videos up of flying this airplane on Instagram. And you can see this has a traditional six-pack. And the avionics in the... Citation, the Garmin 3000, are absolutely beautiful avionics, and uh, it is way easier to fly in the, in the G3000, plus I have a really old autopilot in here, so I'm having to do a lot of hand flying in here uh, with the traditional six-pack, and it, uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to, jumping back and forth, but um, this is what I learned on. And honestly, if you have the ability to learn on a traditional six-pack, I think it makes you a better pilot because you understand the correlations between all of the instruments. And, you know, when you're flying around with like the G3000, G1000 avionics, to me, let me know in the comments what you, what you think. But it feels like uh, uh, more of a video game to me. Seven two six five eight contact Myrtle Beach approach one one nine point two. Let's do our after takeoff checklist now. Climb checklist is flaps are up. Gear is up, and I got no lights, and the master light is out. Throttles at twenty four fifty and thirty three inches for the manifold pressure, and we lean to fourteen twenty. Ready. 827 Bravo Papa, Columbus County Airport, 12 o'clock. It's already there. And our cruise climb speed in here is about 105 knots. 105 knots. Airport, no track reserve in the vicinity of the airport. Frequency change approved, device cancellation of IFR. So I do have an autopilot in this plane. It isn't the greatest. It's a Century 21 autopilot. It's very old. 
uh, it does not hold altitude, so I have to trim the plane up to do that, which is why I'm hand flying it. I'll generally hand fly it all the way up to altitude, especially on a turbulent, bumpy day like today. And then I'll turn the autopilot on. And usually when you're at altitude, say, you know, I picked 7,000 feet on the way up here. Usually when you're at altitude, you can trim the plane up. It'll follow the nav and uh, it'll stay at altitude really well. If you've, if you've flown any of the PA-28 series, uh, you know what a stable uh, platform this is. And that if you get the plane trimmed up, it should just fly itself. Southwest 35, three three, first runway 24, you're inside of a Cherokee, seven mile final. Keep the base inside of three. Contact tower, 119.9, or have a good one. Quick for the visual, we'll keep it inside three miles. And over to tower, 19.9, talk to you on the outbound. So I mentioned it earlier, I've owned this airplane for a little over 20 years, coming up on 21 years. Um, I bought it in 2003. Prior to that, I had owned a Cherokee Challenger, which is uh, one one year prior to them calling it an Archer. So it was a stretch Cherokee 180. Uh, I love that plane, but I, I had it for two years, and then I wound up selling it. And And honestly, this plane has been a great plane for me for the last for the last 20 years. We've slowly done some up, some upgrades in it. And uh, I really enjoy flying. I'm contemplating selling it a couple times, but you know, then I get in it on a day like this, and it's just, it's such an easy plane to fly. Uh, it'll do 160 knots, roughly, about 157 knots at 10,000 feet, and it'll do that on burning about 13 gallons an hour. Uh, there's not too many planes that can do that. The Booney Wheel, though, the Booney Wheel with the exact same engine, which is a TSI 360. Uh, the Mooney will outfly me by five or ten knots, but uh, it's great for what I use it for, which is just tooling around and going and visiting friends. Uh, like today, I'm going to pick up a friend in Chesapeake and bring it down here for for Easter weekend. A few of you have asked uh, how I got to where I'm at. I've told the story a little bit in other videos, but uh, I'm going to talk about it a little more here. My father was a Learjet pilot for a living and, and, a, and a flight instructor. And when my, both my brother and I were younger, he taught us how to fly. I, uh, I soloed on my 16th birthday way back in 1987. And I got my private pilot license shortly after my 17th birthday. And uh, back then I was flying mostly a Piper Archer. Again, really good airplane. And uh, I built a lot of time in that Archer, flying friends around the state of Florida, which is where I grew up. Grew up. And then uh, call it my young and dumb phase. So my brother did the same thing. He he got his, he soloed on his 16th birthday, he got his private a little bit after his 17th. And it's sort of our young and dumb phase. We didn't know what we had. Um, and we sort of got out of aviation for, I, I was out of it for a good seven or eight years. My dad wasn't home a lot when uh, when I was young. And if I ever had kids, I didn't want to do that to my kids. So I chose a career in computers, but aviation has always been part of my life. To this day, um, I was out of it for about eight or nine years, and I went flying with a friend of mine for about an hour or so, and I realized what I was missing. And, uh, that was around 1999, yeah, I was pretty bumpy. and uh, uh, maybe I'll, uh, I went out, got my biennial, got my medical two, back, and started two, flying two, again. Okay. And then in about 2003, shortly after I bought this aircraft, I started working for the company that I'm at right now. I'm a database administrator and a computer programmer for a local company here that writes stock analysis software. And as part of getting hired for that company, they uh, got me my instrument and my commercial and my multi. And then along the way, I've also picked up my ATP. And 
I was lucky enough to work my way into flying the Pilatus, which is uh, which was a company airplane, and we sold the Pilatus in 2019 and bought the CJ3 Plus, which is what you're seeing on the video. So uh, I'm fortunate enough to work for a great company that uh, has taken care of me aviation-wise. I realized uh, when I went to work for the company, there were five or six pilots in the company that all enjoyed flying, uh, and I realized what I was missing. So um, the reason for the accidental aviator moniker is uh, just a play on the fact that I'm a computer programmer and a database administrator for a living and not really a professional uh, pilot. Um, but I tried to take this, the flying portion of this, as serious uh, and as professional as I can. We'll talk a little bit about the performance here on the uh, on the Arrow 4, uh, before I shut the, the cameras off, you can see we're level here at 7,000, where our airspeed right now is indicating about 137 knots. Let's see what the outside temperature is. It's zero degrees outside right now. So it's zero degrees, and we're at 7,000 feet. Let's, zero degrees, 7,000 feet. And we are currently truing at about 155 knots. Uh, that's about what this plane does. If I go up a little higher because of the tur turbocharger, uh, we'll pick up a little speed. I think I said earlier, it's about 157, 160 knots at 10,000 feet. And we're currently burning, I don't know, I'm fully lean out here, but just over 14 gallons an hour. Wilmington Air 145 Alpha Alpha, can we request 9,000? Yeah, one, four, five, alpha, alpha, climb, maintain 9, climb, maintain 9, Thank you, 5, alpha, alpha. All right, now that we're climbing up to 9,000, it should be a little smoother up there. I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. I'm going to shut the cameras off now so we can get the ride down into Chesapeake, and uh, we'll see you guys in about an hour. All right, welcome back, everybody. I just wanted to turn the cameras on for a few minutes here just to give you an idea of uh, what the plane is doing here. We're at 9,000 feet. Uh, it's a little less turbulent up here as we're skimming the top of the clouds. So 9,000 feet, the temperature outside right now is minus 4. And uh, we are currently truing at about 155 knots. And, uh, like I said, that's generally what we get in this airplane. And, uh, just wanted to turn it on, show you everything. Uh, we're currently burning about 14 gallons an hour. And like I said, burning 14 gallons an hour, doing 155 knots true. Unfortunately, it's only 125 knots ground speed, so uh, it's going to be a quick trip on the way home. Going to shut the cameras back off now, and we'll pick them up on the way into Chesapeake. And the weather at Chesapeake looks pretty gusty at the moment. We'll talk to you on the way into Chesapeake. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're sending out a 7,700. On our way into Norfolk. It was a really bumpy uh, flight, and actually I had to pull the power back because the turbulence was kind of bad. And uh, it seems to settle down now. We got some gusty winds, uh, about a 50 degree crosswind, some gusty winds in Chesapeake, and uh, we should be on the ground at about uh, 14 minutes or so. feet on final. Once again, I appreciate y'all coming along on the flight with me. It's uh, one, one, turn up 10 degrees left for me. It's been a great year and a half on the channel. And if there's anything specific you'd like to see or any questions I can answer, please don't hesitate to ask. Leave me a comment in the video below. Send me uh, send me a comment or a message on Instagram. I uh, I try to answer everything. Starting to get turbulent again. I was telling you before, I'm Century 21 Autopilot. I currently have the Autopilot on, but it does not do climbs and descents or hold altitude. So even when I have the Autopilot on, I still have Turn to hand fly, the, hand fly the aircraft. Um, in my descent, I keep anywhere between 500 and 700 feet a minute coming down here. And uh, we've been cleared down to 4,000 feet. The Autopilot will you, Rob, fly the cab, which is what it's doing right now. Uh, I'm just working the oak in and out, maintaining 
by uh, a constant descent. 145 Alpha Alpha, you can maintain 3,000 from the Nunez Ch Chesapeake inside. Still 12 o'clock at about 22 miles. Down to 3,000, we'll let you know when we have a site. 5 Alpha Alpha. Since this is the first time uh, me introducing you to this plane, why don't you guys let me let me know in the comments what kind of planes you're flying. Uh, we did this once right around when I started the channel, and uh, I love that it was a wide variety of airplanes from anything from gliders up to 777s. Uh, let, let me know the other channels that you watch, too. There's a few channels that I watch uh, a lot. Uh, Citation Max I watch. I watch Bravo Climb, maintain 8,000. Uh, Premier Driver. I watch Baron Pilot also. And there's a few other channels like uh, Blanco Lirio and uh, and Pilot Debrief that I learn a lot of information from too. Uh, there is a lot of great resources on the internet, especially on YouTube for aviation. And uh, let me know if I'm missing anything. Uh, I, I'd like to hear from you guys. Doing a right downwind arrival into runway 23 here. It's right traffic at Chesapeake and runway 23. And yes, we do have the airport in sight. And we're about 15 miles out. 5 Alpha Alpha has the airport in sight. We'll go ahead and cancel. Sir, 145 Alpha Alpha, Roger. No traffic served between you and Chesapeake Airport. Cancel 5 Fire Chief. Very sure it's terminated. It's welcome in team of power for you to change approved. You have a good one. Have a good day. Five out, five. Chesapeake traffic. Air 145 Alpha Alpha 15 Southwest of the airport descending out of 3,600 inbound for a right down when we're going 2 3 Chesapeake. Automated weather observation 1 9 3 4 Zulu weather wind 2 9 0 at 1 3 gust 2 5 visibility 1 0 7,000 scattered ceiling, 9,000 broken temperature, 1, 7 Celsius, dew point, 1 altimeter, 2, 9, 8, 5. Chesapeake traffic, arrow 10 southwest of the airport, 3,000. Inbound for a right downwind, 2, 3, full stop, Chesapeake. Chesapeake traffic, come to Cessna 3, go back to party 2, 3, to the north, Chesapeake. Chesapeake traffic, arrow 145 Alpha Alpha 5 Southwest, the airport descending out of 2000, right downwind, runway 23 Chesapeake. Chesapeake traffic, come to Cessna 3, go back to the Red Cross, the part of the pattern, Chesapeake. I've got him on the DSV here, he's off and ground. Chesapeake traffic, arrow 4 southwest of the airport descending out of 1500. We have the twin in sight. Uh, setting up a right down with 2 3 full stop, Chesapeake. Chesapeake traffic, arrow is 2 southwest of the airport descending out of 1400. Right down with runway 2 3 full stop, Chesapeake. This is going to be a pretty turbulent and gusty approach into runway 23 here. It's got about a 60 degree crosswind at the moment, gusting over 20 at times. So we're gonna do our best. We're gonna use two notches of flaps instead of three. It helps a little bit to keep the speed up. All right, mixtures up. Props coming up. Under 120, landing gear is coming down. Down three green, no reds. Landing lights on. Chesapeake traffic arrow right down wind runway two three full stop Chesapeake. Give myself some space here since the wind's off our left at the moment. Chesapeake traffic arrow turning a right base runway two three full stop Chesapeake.
Chesapeake traffic arrow turning final, runway 23, full stop Chesapeake. Three green props, make sure they're up. Traffic not available. Chesapeake traffic arrows clear the act of 2-3 Chesapeake taxi in the FBO. All right, everybody, that was uh, quite the workout. You got a good demonstration of a very gusty uh, crosswind landing. Keep the speed up, fly the plane even when you're on the ground. Get that wing down and use opposite rudder. Um, it was a pretty crazy workout, but we got on the ground okay. And uh, thanks for coming along. We will uh, see you on the next flight.